When it comes to shipping goods into Canada, a licensed customs broker is a significant part of the customs clearance process. They tackle everything from paperwork to taxes, making sure your commercial shipments sail smoothly through the Canadian border and with Canada Border Services Agency. Importers count on these experts to handle crucial tasks like completing necessary export documentation, clearing imported goods, collecting duties and taxes, and preparing customs accounting documents. They're even there to guide you on seizing opportunities presented by free trade agreements. In this Customs Consulting Do-It-Yourself video, I'll help you navigate the complex world of customs brokers with confidence and make sure the correct paperwork is sent to them and what the driver will need to have in hand at the time of arrival. As a highway carrier, you're the engine that keeps the goods moving, but you're not alone in this journey. In most cases, it's the importer or shipper who takes the wheel when it comes to providing shipping documents to you. They're the ones who will also share valuable information about which customs broker you should send the paperwork to. So it's crucial to have a friendly chat with the importer or shipper before moving the goods. So be sure to get all the details about the customs broker they're working with and that they hand over all the proper documents to you. Your cargo voyage to Canada requires some important paperwork depending on the shipment release type. The importer or shipper will need to hand over documents like a commercial invoice, packing list, and other necessary papers such as a NAFTA certificate or Canadian Food Inspection Agency documentation if the shipment requires it. Your role as the highway carrier isn't complete without contributing your own essential documents and labels, so you'll need to furnish a bill of lading and a PARS barcode label that you have to affix to either the commercial invoice or the bill of lading. When it comes to the commercial invoice, it must contain the following details. The seller and buyer's name, phone number, and address, a detailed description of the goods, their value, including their tariff information, HS code, and country of origin, and don't forget to affix a PARS barcode label if the shipment is clearing as a PARS release type. The barcode label should be included on the invoice before sending the paperwork to the customs broker. But that's not all. You will also need to provide the customs broker with a bill of lading. This document, issued by you, the highway carrier, serves as both the receipt for the shipped goods and a binding contract between you and the shipper. It includes your load number and a detailed description of goods, including the quantity and weight. In addition to the customs documents we've discussed, it's also vital for you to communicate with a customs broker about the Canadian port where you'll be arriving at, as well as your estimated arrival date and time, so the broker can prioritize your paperwork accordingly. You may also need to provide other documents to your customs broker included from the importer or shipper. This can potentially include a packing list of the goods, an 8A and bond cargo control document, or a temporary importation document. So it's important to understand the shipment release type from the shipper or importer before providing these documents to the broker. By providing this crucial information to a broker, you'll ensure a smooth and seamless clearance by a customs broker and entry into Canada. And don't forget to process an ACI e-manifest for your load as it is required to cross into Canada. To learn about ACI e-manifests and how to register, click the link at the top of the video now. Hi, I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you'd like to watch more videos like this, check out these videos here or subscribe below. If you're not already signed up to Border Connect, you can sign up today for a free 45-day trial using special promo code EZ45. Thanks for watching.